Okay, welcome to Job Fair Worldwide. My name is Mr. Snow and today I'll be conducting the video portion of your assessment. This video will be viewed by millions of our employers as well as our networks within our uh, interfaces. Do we have your permission to proceed with this assessment? Sure. Okay, great. Now today I'm going to ask you a few simple questions and all I need you to do when responding is look directly into the camera and give us a clean and clear response. Straighten this up a little bit more. Good. Uh, can you please start by stating your name, age, and nationality? My name is Hikash Ramasu. I am 35 years old and I'm a guy in this national. Great. How did you become interested in Job Fair Worldwide? I saw an ad in the, one of the national newspapers and because of the economic situation in Iran, I decided to explore what are the possibilities. Excellent. Do you have any special training or technical skills? Well, I'm trained in finance. My specialization at the level of my master degree is finance. So I have a fair knowledge of how the financial system works. And being part of the bank where I was a manager, you know, you have practical experience of how money flows into the economic system and the relationship as a middleman between Okay. Excellent. Prior to coming in our office, uh, well, actually, no, not for this one, because uh, did you say you wanted international or local? Well, anyone can be explored, but specifically the international one would be a more okay. exposure. Okay, uh, well, then you will require a certain degree of computer experience, so you can use a computer? Yeah, well, uh, because I was a bank manager, so. Okay. Well, it's to you. Use. Yeah. I still have to ask. That's, that's right. right. Okay, uh, can you please indicate to us which programs you currently use and the purposes for which you use them? Well, my last job was I was managing Media House. And prior to that, I was a bank manager. So we had to use a publisher, Microsoft publisher, Outlook, we use spreadsheet, we use the banking software, of course. And in the banking software, you have all the accounting systems are designed. So you just have to press a key and get whatever information. Okay. Any particular banking software? Um, that one is RIPS. Do we call it RIPS? Okay. It's, like, it's a Canadian software. But we're using that. Okay. Uh, do you have a good command of the English language? Really, I should say because presently I do write a column. I'm a columnist for one of the, uh, the local newspapers in New York. That's Okay, excellent. Now, here's a fun question. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, how would you rate your reading? Well, I would say 9. 9? Okay. In English, you mean? In English, yes, correct. Uh, can you just read this paragraph for us as it's written out loud? Sure. As mentioned in the opening article, Gregory suffers from an anxiety disorder. My excessive worrying was out of proportion and out of control, he says. How did Gregory regain control? To get perspective, he says, I accepted the kind of help of my wife and friends. I also sought professional assistance and learned more about my condition. After making some lifestyle changes, I began to feel that I was in control of my condition. Not that it was in control of me, although I still experience bouts of anxiety. I now have a better sense of what triggers them, and I know how to manage my disorder. Excellent, thank you very much. Who was the primary uh, subject matter about in this paragraph? I think it was Gregory. But I, I didn't know it was an assessment, I thought it was just reading. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I just read. Okay, uh, well, from what you can remember, right, can you tell me a little bit about Gregory? I think it was a problem of some disorder. That's the basic kind of thing. I, I was just reading for the sake of reading. Oh, okay. Okay. I could have okay. read it. Well, just based on what just based on what you remember, um, was he able to find a way through his condition? Yeah, I think it was more an inner issue than something that is external. So he had to address his internal matter. Something, something of that sort. Of thing. 
Okay. So he did get it fixed? I guess so. Uh, for the last paragraph, the last line, or last sentence would explore that option. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what happened. Yeah. And did he I have thought it was just a reading exercise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just had to finish asking you. Just yes. And um, did he have any help? Can you remember who helped him? Can I, can I just have a look back, please? And then I can assess it. And it's kind of, kind of cheating, but... Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was a reading because that's what okay. he said. This particular part of the assessment te test is your retention, right? Yes. Short-term retention. So far, you're on point. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so he did get assistance, and yeah, I think it's some. It, it has to do twofold. One, the persons around you, which would mean his family and friends. Two, the professional assistance, and then thirdly, by his own efforts. Okay. okay. All right, that's great for the reading, and you do have a good understanding. Just <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to be touching base on some basic math, right? Okay. You know. Uh, because we know math in this country lately, you know, some of the basics seems hard for a lot of people, which is very, very weird. Uh, this should be really easy to do. Uh, I'm going to ask you a series of mathematical uh, questions. And these questions are at a second grade level, indicating the children of the age of seven years old actively answer these questions. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, basic division as well. Okay? You're going to have five seconds to respond to each of these questions. So I can. Right. <laughs> they're, they're very simple. Okay. And I'm only allowed to state the question one time, so it's imperative that you pay attention. Okay. Tell me when you're ready to start. Okay, great. 120 plus 120. 1,000 plus 8,220. 9,000. 450 plus 5,000. 5,000 minus 5,500. 40,000 minus 23,000. 100,000 minus 0,000. 12 times 12. 9 times 7. 13 times 5. 1,000 times 0. It's uh, 0. Okay. 50 divided by 10. 5. 100 divided by 25. 4. 100 divided by 20. Uh, 5. 250 divided by 5. 5. 0. Okay. Great. And uh, your last, your last employee was who? Uh, Diana Times. Diana Times. Okay. Uh, what were your duties there? Um, I was a station manager, so I would have managed uh, production, uh, and, and all the basic uh, things regarding staff and the entire TV network. Okay. The reporters, the editors, and stuff. Okay. Uh, why did you leave? Um, basically, it was not as expected because it was, um, you know, sometimes uh, we inherit political interference in media management. So one of my concerns were that uh, a media outlet should be more independent in its assessment of what I believe would have been uh, presenting to the public a fair understanding as to what happened. But sometimes, you know, there are political interference in the management and in the things we do. So I was not very comfortable okay. that aspect of it. Okay, so it was a personal choice? Pardon me? It was a personal choice to leave? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, have you ever been fired from a job? No. Okay. Have you ever been arrested? No, not at all. Okay. Just a couple more questions for you, and this assessment will be up. Okay, one, how much do you need to make a month to feel comfortable? Well, in Guyanese terms, I used to take home two hundred and fifty thousand, which is approximately twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So to restore that 
condition, I think it's very and to keep you, and yeah. that's that, that can keep you yeah. stable, cover your expenses, you'll be able to save yeah. something for something, yeah. Okay, definitely. right. And uh, let's see, what do you want to do with your life? <laughs> well, uh, I'm a very Okay, like in terms of social social work. Where do you see yourself twenty years from now? What type of business? What type of um, career field? Well, you know, when you were little and you were growing up, you always said, you know, I wanted to be this or I wanted to do this, and sometimes that changes. And your goal changes. And, and your goals so change. Twenty years right? ahead, I might be a little too long, but of course, obviously, let's say ten years. Obviously, somewhere. obviously, my specialization are in two fields: one um, in finance. So obviously, that course I will have to take. And secondly, um, well, I have a diploma in, in Hindi as well from um, one of the centers in India. So uh, I'm very versed in as a second language. So you can read it, you can yeah, write I it. I can write, read it, and write it, and um, talk more in Hindi as opposed to English. I uh, <laughs> have a very useful job for you. Yeah. Because a lot of our members, we have a lot of members in Bangladesh. Yeah. The places. Bangladesh, they, I don't think they speak Hindi that good. They speak out. Bengal. Yeah. Bengal. Well, because they're, they're from east, east of Bengal. Oh. We should know this stuff. Yeah. Uh, and finally, why should someone hire you? Obviously, because of my uh, past experiences, qualifications, and successes I've had on my previous jobs. Okay. All right, great. Thank you very much. That concludes this portion of the assessment.